Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how to uninstall command line tools, which is something that happens when you install Xcode, or if you do something like install Homebrew, then you're going to require these command line tools, which are going to be installed when you install Homebrew for the first time. And after a while, you might not actually need this anymore. You might actually want to reclaim this space, which takes up 3.35 gigabytes. And so you might want to actually find and delete this. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. Firstly, I'm going to click on the top right hand corner of the screen, and I'm just going to show you how to confirm whether command line tools are installed. So I enter this code, Xcode, dash select space dash p and this shows me where the command line tools are installed if i don't have it installed then this wouldn't be available for us and i'm going to show you how to navigate to this folder so basically this folder is located in the macintosh hd under the library folder here so if you don't know how to get to the main library what you can do is go ahead and open any instance of finder then you click the go button here then we can press the computer button here then we can double click on macintosh hd and then we have the library here. So I can double click on library, and then we have this folder called command line tools. Basically all we need to do is delete this and then we're gonna reclaim our space. So I'm gonna control click on here, move to bin, type in my password and press return. And there those files are in my trash. If I enter this code again, it says that I can't find the active directory. This means we've successfully removed that folder. So if I try to run the command brew, it's gonna ask me automatically to install the command line developer tools again. So I can just go ahead and click install to reinstall command line tools. You can also type in this code as well, xcode dash select space dash dash install. I'm going to run this now just to show you that you can actually run this manually without having to run homebrew again. Here it's asking us again whether we want to do an installation, so we're going to use this user interface to start this process. Here we're just going to press agree, and that's basically going to re-download this into the developer folder. So once the software is installed, you'll see that the command line tools have returned. And this is exactly the same size as it was before. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to find out more useful tutorials, for example, how to install Rosetta 2 and also uninstall Rosetta 2, please check out some other videos on my channel. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.